Okay, guys, we're starting out a vlog here. We got Adam here today. What we're planning on doing is, well, right now, he's got to go to work in like an hour or something. But we got this little creek down here. Now, I did minter trap this creek, and I caught absolutely zero minters and like 15 crawdads. So, well, yeah, we're going to go crawdad hunting. I got my Crocs on, so I should be pretty good. And I can already see one right now. Right there's the one I see. He's just sitting there chilling. He's just chilling. We're going to go catch him, though, right now. Oh, yeah, where are we going to put him? We're actually going to keep him in a bucket, and I might just go fishing with him this evening. We never know. Which, I mean, I guess if I do use him for live bait, you'll probably already know because it's probably in the title yeah they're all over this and here's a little tip guys if you're looking for somewhere to go crawdad hunting look for a creek well any water really with a lot of rock if you go to a creek that's like just mud and no rocks there's not gonna be as many crawdads as there will be minners but if you come to a place like this with a bunch of rocks in it you're gonna find a whole lot of crawdads and another thing i found is even if you live right in the middle of the city they will still be crawdads where there's rocks i've been to places that gets probably i don't know tons of visitors i went in the creek and boom i found crawdads just like that so crawdads are everywhere basically there's water and rocks we're gonna get right on the end of this just like this not gonna lie guys it's pretty cold right now but yeah adam just go in there if you see one you gotta get up to it and then just ooh, try to snatch it up because they will not pinch you and actually there's one right there on the end of the rock go get it yeah they won't pinch you but still they will pinch you they better not are they really he heard me so like here's what's up they will pinch you but what i found is like they're so like dumb that it takes them like four seconds to realize they're in your hand and that they should pinch and by then you can already have them by the back and they can't hurt you so guys right now i'm just walking through here there's a bunch of rocks here and if I, i'm just scanning right now but if i ever come to a moment to where i'm not finding them all i have to do is like legit just flip a rock and boom right there's one right there oh dang it he got away from me i got him nope got him oh, yes, got him okay 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 i got him there he is guys he's not a big one whatsoever but hey he's the first one and we got already lost him now we're gonna go for a bigger one because if we <laughs> how many we keep him? now we're oh i forgot to keep him we got one right up here and he's under a rock he's coming out boom i got him right there just like that guys and i'm actually gonna let him pinch me just for you guys there he goes he's got me he's got me good he ain't letting go neither. So what's it feel like? It doesn't even hurt. Now he's double pinching me. What does it feel like? It honestly feels like... Could be seen. No. Not even that. No. It, this one's not strong. I felt stronger ones. I've had some about the size of my hand and let them voluntarily. See, it doesn't hurt at all. Like, it honestly feels like a baby is grabbing your finger. Except it's a crawdad. It's really weird, but it is. But, I mean, yeah. Now, we may use that for bait, so we'll just dump him in there. Just like that. That bucket right there, it actually floats. So, we can leave it in the creek and let it float with us, and it'll be perfectly fine. Let's find us. No, Adam, actually, it's your turn, ain't it? All right, buddy. Now. now, it's your turn. Yeah, just grab him. Like, just go straight up. Just grab him like you're grabbing a lightning bug. He will not hurt you at all. I promise. And see, there's probably one under this rock right here. I'm going to lift it up and see. Boom. There he went, boys. They're under, like, almost every rock. There's honestly not much here that can eat them, I mean. Yeah, every now and again, there'll be a, maybe a possum or a coon come out of that mountain. But as for that, there's no real big fish to eat these guys. So, there's really plentiful in this area. We need to find at least one small one, because I want to catch a bluegill on him. We'll let the water clear for just a second. Okay, there he is. Oh, I had him. I got him. Are you really? Yeah, I got him right there. There we go, boys. He's trying to pinch me, but it just don't hurt. But anyways, this guy, we're actually, we'll actually use this guy for a bluegill. He's perfect bluegill size. And we'll just open up the bucket, set him in there, close the bucket back. Simple as that. Now, let's keep on looking, and hopefully we can get some machos. Because I can catch catfish on bass on the big ones. There's like eight of them right here. Oh, dang it. They're so quick. You get one. Oh, he's in my shoe. What in the world? Oh, I caught him. Oh, my gosh. Let's see. I caught him in my shoe, boys. Boys, I just caught one in my shoe. He flew in my shoe. I sort of kicked it off. I don't know what I was afraid of, but I got him, boys. There's one more than we had two seconds ago. That's why you always wear Crocs, guys. Always wear Crocs. Okay, guys. Well, we ended up getting about six crawdads. Not enough to necessarily go fishing, but I am going to come back. Adam's got to go to work right now. I'm going to come back here in about an hour with my GoPro on. Hopefully, we can get some bigger ones, too. Three hours later. Okay, guys. Some time has passed. I'm back at the creek. Now, I'm by myself, and I got a head cam GoPro. Let's get in there, and hopefully, we can get another bait to fish for i don't know a few hours right now we got six i think we need probably about 46 but we'll see what happens and just a real quick reminder if you want a bucky doesn't play game shirt or my signature series shirt or my signature series decal slash sticker pack you can head on over to kennelgrade1.com and well yeah pick you up one and the decals there's only a limited number of those and trust me guys they're selling fast if you want one go pick one up now there we go finally got one he's pinched me pretty good but that's the first one we got in a while right here i needed him for sure put him in and Go for another one. There we go. Finally got us a good one right there. What I had to do for this guy is actually find him swimming, then just sling him up on the bank. And then I sling him up on the bank. He couldn't really swim on the bank, so now, nah, you know, that's about the only way I'm going to start catching him. Because I'm not a good crawdad hunter. That's a fact. That's what I figured out today. I am not 
a good crawdad hunter. Okay, so now I'm done crawdad hunting. I didn't get the 46 that I wanted, but I definitely got more than six that I had. There they all are in there. I've got all different sizes. I got big, I got small, I've got some for bass, I got some for bluegill. Hopefully we'll get on some today. But as y'all know, this is a vlog channel and we're not just doing fishing today. We're gonna do something else, like go pick on peanut or something. What do you say, peanut? Oh, peanut, where are you? Ah, what are you doing? You got my leg wrapped up, dude. Ah! What are you, dude, what are you doing? What you been doing, buddy? Nothing. Sounds about right. Peanut, you look guilty. What did you do? I like Peanut because he holds my hand whenever I'm lonely. Look, you ready to go find a squirrel? Let's go find a squirrel. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Dun -na -na, dun -na -na. Hunt it up, hunt it up. Uh-oh, oh my gosh. She's on to something. She took off right after it. So she bolted out here, then she turned her head, then she took off running. That means she heard it, she saw it, she analyzed the data, she looked at it at a fundamental standpoint, and then she went at it. We got lucky. You know what, guys? She lost it. Lucky here, Lucky here. Lucky, what are you doing? Why didn't you find that squirrel? Go find me a squirrel. You owe me two now. And by the way, there is like a thunderstorm like five minutes away, so we may not get to go fishing. But as for the progress on the turnip field, they're actually doing pretty good. Okay, guys, right now me and Lucky's getting a little bit of conditioning training in. She's going Olympics 2020, baby. Olympics 2020, first place, boys. First place right there. Okay, I guess not, maybe last. That right there is why we're not going fishing right now. That right there. Tornado, black hole, death star. I don't know what it is. Comment below what you think it is. I don't know what it is, and personally, I don't want to know what it is, but if I had to make a guess, I'd say it's probably just a good old thunderstorm. And the wind is here to back it up. Well, boom! Oh my gosh, it just knocked all these trees down. That's, oh my man. Now, if we had that kind of weather, we'd be doing good, except we have that kind of weather and we're not doing good. Lucky really doesn't care about the weather. She's gonna be lazy no matter what. That's some pretty strong stuff to bend over a swarping sycamore like that. Can someone say 57 pounds of dog food? Cause that's what it is. And yeah, it's starting to rain. I'm going inside. Okay guys, so it is the next day. And yes, I'm wearing my Bucky Doesn't Play Game shirt to represent the gray gang. But anyways, we're out here today. We got a bluegill pole and a catfish pole and we got the live cross. Now for the bigger cross for bass and catfish, we're gonna be rigging them up just like this right there through the tail. This shouldn't hurt them. And if I don't catch fish on them, I can still release them and they will be okay. Now, if I was to give you any tips for the bigger crawdads, I'd say throw them somewhere, not on the bottom and not near rocks or brush piles. Cause if you put them on the bottom, they can crawl around and find a hole. Or if you throw them near rocks or a brush pile, they can actually swim over and tangle themselves in the brush pile. And then you'll have a really, really, really hard time getting the fish out. So I'm just going to throw mine on a bobber out there in the middle. If it goes under, I'll take care of it. But until then, I'm going to be fishing for bluegill. And here for bluegill, I've just got one of the smaller crawdags rigged weightless on a hook. I'm just going to sling him out there and slack line him and wait for one to take it out of my hands. Oh, I had one bite right there. And the good thing about crawdads are they have, they're really hardy and they're not gonna die easy. So, you know, if you miss one, it's not gonna jerk the crawdad right off your hook. A crawdad should last until you at least catch one fish. There he is. Boys, I just got a bluegill and a crawdad. Now, what a lot of people may not know is that bluegill and sunfish like this, they actually eat crawdads a whole lot. The red ear panfish even got its nickname shellcracker because of its ability to crack up shells and the hard exoskeleton of these crawdads. Now, this isn't a red ear, but it still has the same capabilities to crush up crawdads like you just watched him do. There he is. Let's get us another one because we've definitely got more than one small crawdad. There we go right there. That right there is the next victim of the bluegill. Here we go. Oh, I got one right there, boys. Not a big one, but a bluegill. Oh dang it, he choked it. This is one of the few times you're gonna say, oh dang it, he choked it. But I actually think he choked it. Oh dang it, he did. He swallowed the hook. Let's go do surgery. So while we're waiting on the 142 pound catfish to bite, I'm actually gonna read a comment that's, you know, sort of had me triggered today. And by the way, this is on one of my old trapping videos where I caught a bobcat. Nada Kittenlove says, poor thing. Put yourself in that bobcat's shoes. So, you know, as soon as I saw this, I was like, whoa, where's this guy from? Like, what grade is he in? Is it a he? Is it a she? Is it undecided? I don't know. And then my second thought was, does this guy even know what a bobcat looks like? And so here's what I replied. I said, well, I'll just let you guys see it. I replied back and said, bobcats don't wear shoes. And so for the rest of the day, I'm just sitting here puzzled thinking, like... Am I missing something? Did I catch a once in a lifetime bobcat who just like forgot to put shoes on or something? I've been trapping for stinking three years and I've caught like five bobcats. Not one of them had shoes on. I don't know if it's just maybe that like maybe in Kentucky they forget shoes or something. I mean, I don't know about your trapping methods, but I don't go around my property putting up signs that says no shirts, no shoes, no service. I mean, I don't care if they have shoes on. I don't even care about a shirt. As long as I catch him, hey man, I'm fine. But anyways, guys, go down in the comment section and tell me what you think about that comment because I don't, I don't know what to think right now. Am I going crazy or is that like a I, I don't know just I need help I don't know what to say 
There he is. That's a good one, too. Oh, my gosh. That is... Oh, my gosh. Oh, I just hooked a Boone and Crockett. This is a Boone and Crockett. This is a Boone and Crockett. Oh, my gosh. That is... Oh, boys. You know you got a Boone and Crockett bluegill? Whenever his eyes are bigger than yours. But anyways, there goes in a Boone and Crockett. Unfortunately, today we never caught the 142-pound catfish. However, we did learn a little bit about bobcats. They wear shoes. If you're not part of the Gray Gang, go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button on the top right and feel free to watch some of my past videos on the left. As always, favorite squad, post it up, down low. If you want some of this sweet merch, head on over to kennelgray1.com or the link in the description. But besides that, I'll catch you later in tomorrow's video.